highlights in case you did miss any of the action, as they will be there as well. So this is Hector Miguel Toledo from Chile. South American martial arts. Uh, always been strong, but I wouldn't have thought it in Wushu. It was a bad landing there. He seems to have recovered his mind from that landing. But it's going to cost him. Just out of interest, interest Anthony, Anthony, if you do have a, a really shaky landing, landing, one that's obviously off balance, how much will that generally mean as a deduction? It would depend on uh, how many times you would sway or shuffle. Any lateral movement with the feet is considered a shuffle. Right. Okay. Each time you do that, that's point one. So he kind of actually leaned forward. If he had stayed forward, he would be okay. But if he moved back, that would be considered a deduction. Now, it's, it's interesting, interesting that, that I'm beginning, beginning to hear the difference in power in the slap kicks, kicks and um, especially from, from, I said, Wai Kin Yap and Brian Wang are crisp contacts, contacts and you could really hear the power in them. A little bit softer from Hector Miguel. Most of that lies in the control of their power and their setup. Wow. A couple, a couple of, of uh, rough around the edges, edges, I think, is the, is the way to describe that. that. And, and now, of course, we have had four competitors out there. We're beginning to see the rankings happen. If we just look at the replay here, here this might be that. that. There you go. How, How difficult is it, Anthony, to get, a, get over a landing like that in your head when you're on the mat? Usually, I think, um, for some athletes, making that first mistake kind of sets you up to wake you up. So right, right. And after that, you should expect no mistakes. But some people, it just can go downhill from there. So 7.14 for Hector. And that's going to mean he's currently fourth. So Wai Kinyat still leading the pack from Malaysia with a 9.62.